Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new. My name is Jess and today we're continuing our journey in World of Warcraft Cataclysm. I appreciate you clicking on this video and joining me on this Let's Play. We are back on our Shadow Priest, who is only recently a Shadow Priest. I'm still very much learning how to play Shadow. Tweaked my talent slightly since last time because I had a little bit of a look into what I should be doing. We'll see if that helps or not. But I've just run us to where the next quest hand in is, which is to Malfurion, just here. Protect the world tree. I must protect the wild. You've arrived just in time. May the winds be at your back. Make no mistake about this, the outcome of this war will determine the very survival of our world as we know it. Twilight's hammer has become more powerful than ever with Deathwing's return. Should they succeed in taking over the world tree, they might strike a blow from which we will never recover. It is time we beat back the enemy, it is time we crush the Twilight hammer. May nature guide your path. A powerful artifact known as the Flameseer's Staff was lost during the initial onslaught by the enemy forces. It was an ancient bone staff that granted its wilder power over the elements of fire. Its fragments litter the area around us. Find them and bring them to Malfurion. Perhaps the artifact's power will still be of use. That is a cool mount. I actually can't see the person on it. That's very cool. It looks like Vampiric Touch puts Shadowbird Pain on a target? Maybe that's um, maybe that's a talent I didn't read properly because I need to double check that because if so, we can pop that off of our first place. Ah. Oh. oh my god it does. How oh, good. there for now. Just move everything down. I don't have a target. We do also have an AoE spell now, which is amazing, because that was something I felt was really missing on this, because there was just no AoE. We only have one, but one is better than none.
Okay, one more flame caller, and then we need the fragments. Oh, which are right here. Perfect. I just realized we're not even in shadow form. What is wrong with me? My bad. I wondered why we couldn't use um, this Devarian Plague. Like, it just never popped up. I was like, mm, that seems weird. It's 100% my own fault. This mount also feels very appropriate now that we're a shadow. Can't lie. I also realized we're just talking about Deathwing. Pretty sure I have like a little Deathwing? Mm, apparently not. It might be called something else. But I'm pretty confident I do have. little frost wing. Oh, not quite, not quite. I'll pull them out anyway. How might nature serve? You've done well, but I feel the battle is far from over. Nature stands with you. Excellent. This will be a great weapon against the enemy forces. May nature guide your path. The large elementals that besiege us are not a singular entity. They are an amalgamation of lesser spirits bound together by the Twilight's Hammer cultist's magic. The rebuilt Flameseer staff will give us enough power to shatter its bonds. Destroy the smaller elementals once you've broken up the more dangerous large ones. Kill 30 flame spirits. Also, is that staff... Okay, way better than what we have. Cool. Yikes. Overcommitted, overcommitted. that that worked. Uh, these, I'm guessing it's these big elemental nodes that we need.
Amazing, we leveled. What's this hitting me? Not that guy. Not that guy, not that guy. That guy, there we go. Found him. It's not ready yet. Oh, there's a lot of dudes. Put my AOE in the wrong spot. Maybe no. I do like the commit, don't I? Anyone saw my last walk, well, not the last walk part, but one of my recent wall off parts where we massively overpulled in Zara Lake Cavern. That one, I think, was my best and worst. Best because we didn't die. Worst because I definitely pulled way, way too many. Okay, where are these elementals? Uh huh. Greetings, friend. Well done. This will help us turn the tide against the enemy. Nature stands with you. Ragnaros is not the only powerful elemental that has re-emerged into our world. The dreaded Baron Geddon is leading the onslaught and we must put an end to this rampage. The Flameseer's staff has proven powerful. Perhaps it is powerful enough to weaken him to the point where our arch druids can bind him where he stands. Go and be careful. Baron Geddon is a vengeful and treacherous being. May the winds be at your back. Off we go. Why does it say zero of twenty? Oh, because he'll break into a bit. Closer. I'm guessing. It's still recharging. But I'm gonna die. It's a quest over here I need to pick up too. Whoa. Enlisted by the Guardians of Hydral to investigate the re emergence of Ragnaros into our world. Let me go ahead and confirm that he is back and he is angry. We also have evidence that these Twilight Hammer cultists are moving elementals from here to Blackrock Caverns over in the Eastern Kingdoms. Raz and I were about to head over there to investigate. We've got room for another in the mall machine if you're interested. Just meet us on the inside and we'll begin our journey. Off and away! Interesting. I'm gonna pick that up, but 
we're not going to go. Because that's sort of leading us back into the regular world. Which we don't want. I also want to see where this head is. Cinder Bloom. How may I aid you? Well done, we cannot afford to lose any further ground to Hyjal. By stopping Baron Geddon, we will have dealt a huge blow to the enemy. May nature guide your path. The druids of Hyjal are not the only ones sworn to defend this land. The Emerald Dragons have once again become a powerful ally to our cause. Speak to Alistra at the Luins of Ladana to the north and see what you can do to help. Very well. Hang up that way. My duties are here, viewing the enemy's movement from above, commanding our armies where they're needed. Your aid would be most welcome. I've heard about you and the news you brought from the south. The battle has reached a stalemate. One that I fear is about to be broken by the Fire Lord's reawakening. That is unless we tip the scales in our favour in some way. There is a scout that was captured by the Twilight's Hammer. I believe she was in possession of valuable intelligence. Find her in the camp to the west. Okay, I also realized we didn't do our talent. Was it priest? We could get this one. Actually, I think that's pretty much all. Yep, this one it is. What is it? After damage, or healing a target below 35% health gain, 5% increased damage and healing. Which is very cool. We're already halfway to level again. We're gonna have a similar situation to our druid, I think, where we finish all of this before we're meant to, and then we get kind of stuck between 60 and 70, getting like no XP. Hello. Help has arrived at last. Be careful. I've been scouting behind enemy lines for nearly a day when they caught me. This attack on our front lines is not what it appears. I'll give you all the details, but first let's find a way to get me out of here. Only the overseers carry keys to these cages. From what I can recall, they're in the middle of the crater in the thick of it. See if you can get a key off one of them. Good luck, friend. Oops. That was easy, first one. I am listening. Key, did you get it? Farewell. I'm thankful. I will deliver my findings to our people. Thank you for freeing me. I will tell our allies of my findings. I suggest that you return to the Emerald Dragon that sent you. The Twilight Hammer does not just seek to gain territory with this particular attack. They also they're also after a prisoner. Andrel Staghelm has been held in the Barrow Dens. The attack doubles as a distraction to free him. To what end, I cannot tell. Perhaps our dragon ally can shed some light on this. May the stars guide you. development is troubling, we must act swiftly. 
Twilight's hammer wants to free Fandral Staghelm. Malfurion suspected his corruption ran deep, this just cements it. At any rate, we cannot allow our enemies to get their hands on such a powerful archdruid. Other plan, we will move the prisoner through the Emerald Dream, it will be risky but with all the cultists present here it might be the only way to guarantee our success. Speak to Sanya Stormrunner inside the Barrow Dens to the northeast. Ooh, they're just running all over the show. Okay, where is the entrance? I'm guessing it's really not all the way over there. Oh, God. Do you remember last time I mentioned how much I hate um, these tunnel zones? Like, why is it yellow now? It's not, it's underground. Where's the entry? I oh, have a clue. You can make me go this way. Like, theoretically, it's that door, right? Theoretically. I also know I've been in them before, but I can't remember how. Yeah, here we go. I am all turned around. get as lost in these places as me or do I just have no sense of direction <laughs> the wardens are watching the dragon might be right the twilight hammer has breached our security and this is our most dangerous prisoner back to your duties Alistair's plan might be necessary I don't know how much longer we can hold off the cultists Andrew Staghelm is bound by powerful spells he won't be able to escape you even inside the emerald dream beware though for all we know the nightmare has spread to this part of the world inside the dream Take Fandral to the surface and hand him to Elystra. Let us hope he's more secure in Moonglade than he is here. Until next time. Right, so now I gotta get back out. up the ramp. What's that here? Wand.
You did well. I will take Vandal to the Moonglade myself. This prison will be far enough from the battlefront there. I will take Fran Fandral to Moonglade. I will take Fandral to Moonglade swiftly. I hope to return soon so I may continue to aid in the battle. In the meantime, report back to Ysera and inform her of these recent developments. I'm glad that green is gone. Also, we're leveled again. So. Imperic Touch deals with him seen additional damage. That's pretty good. Jedi Apparations deal increased damage to targets affected by your Devouring Plague. Mind Blast has a 5% chance to make your next Devouring Plague cost no insanity. Mind Flay, Mind Spike, and Void Torrent damage increased. Uh, torrent damage increased the damage of your periodic spells. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this one. So we use that literally on every single person. Time may pass, but the dream is eternal. Elisra's decision might not have been the wisest, yet there is little time to worry about that now. I bring important discoveries from the Emerald Dream. I fear for Elystra's fate. Vandral's corruption ran deeper than anything I encountered in the nightmare. Yet, we can't afford to dwell on this. During my stay in the dream, I made a vital discovery. The rift that weakens the boundaries of this world has hastened the return of powerful allies. The ancient guardians are coming back. Sinaris, Aviana, Goldrin. I can feel their presence. We must make sure we usher them into this world. Their timely aid will be indispensable. Tell me, what do you see? I guess tell me about the Shrine of Goldrin. Goldrin is the wolf ancient known as Logosh in the Horde tongue. His tenacity is legendary. A shrine dedicated to him is in a basin west of the World Tree, but its keepers have fallen silent in the wake of the attack. I fear the worst. Before we can move on, you must save the shrine, discover the whereabouts of the Wolf Ancient, and beat back its foes. Asena is the spirit of nature, my everlasting companion in both this world and the dream beyond. A shrine in Western Hyjal is at the forefront of the Twilight's offensive, and may be ablaze this very moment. You will never restore Mount Hyjal without Asena's help. Save her shrine from the fires and save the nearby animals threatened by the blaze. We must do this or the entire mountain is lost. How can I help the shrine of Aviana? Aviana is the lost garden, guardian of the skies, a bird goddess who perished fighting the demon hordes 10,000 years ago. The shrine is dedicated to her memory just southwest of Nordrasil, within the boughs of a great tree. The Druid of the Talent are based within the Shrine, and we will need their support. You must aid them, and aid Aviana, should she find her way back into this world. And, is there something I can do at the Sanctuary of Malorn? I have dispatched Archdruid Hamul Rune Totem to the burned out husk of the Sanctuary of Malorn. He is behind the front lines on scorched terrain known as the Flame Wake. Is looking into how we can undo the damage and investigating the whereabouts of the Turtle Ancients Tortola. But before you can help him, you must first ensure that the Shrine of Asena is to the, to the west is secure and the animals are saved from the flames. Otherwise, all is lost. Concentrate on matters at the Grove of Asena first, and they will send you to the Archdruid in good time. Every dream has its nightmare, and every nightmare has an end. Together, we shall prevail. It will be crucial to reclaim each of the ancient shrines. Follow the road west to the ver Verdant Thicket and to the Wolf's Run. We have operatives stationed there. Aid them in any way that you can and work your way to the first shrine. The Wolf God was known to the Elves as Goldrin and to the Orcs as Logosh. He will be a fierce ally in our fight against the enemy. Every dream has its nightmare, and every nightmare has an end. All the way up here. I'm excited to see a wolf god.
Wolf's Run. Hail. Yes, Sarah sent you. Good. We need all the help we can get. We'll never be able to recover the shrine to the ancients so long as the Twilight's hammer controls the roads. Somehow we've got to stem the flood. Gold in peace. Twilight's hammer has revealed itself as more than a mere cult. They're a war machine. A swarm of locusts moving up the mountain, devouring anything in their way. Parts of the forest they're not setting ablaze are being scored, scoured of life in order to feed the mortal cultists. We've got to put a stop to the hunters canvassing Wolf's Run, not only to preserve what wildlife remains, but to force the cult to march on empty stomachs. Look south of here as well as up the road to the east. Goodbye. Are you here to help priest? This valley serves as a natural choke point. If we can strangle the supply line, we buy our companions at the World Tree time to mount a counterattack. Good luck, friend. Chogal's Twilight Provenditors swear a blood swear a blood oath that they will get their supplies through to the front, pledging a pound of their own considerable flesh for every pound of supplies they fail to deliver. They would rather die than fail. See to it that the See to it that they do both. Farewell. May the stars guide you. Prisoners of the Twilight's Hammer are forced to lug around sundries for the war effort, like common pack animals. I want those supplies, and if we can free a few poor souls from the Hammer's shadowy grip, all the better. Kill the slave drivers along the road to our south, and nearby slaves should make a break for it. Search the packs they leave behind for anything valuable, and destroy anything you can't carry. A shaft and up. quick like how am I meant to get these packs without more just being on top of me Ooh, wrong spell Dad, you're already there again
Okay, packs are sorted. We just need these hunters, which I didn't even see before. Well done, the chaos we sow back here will be felt up and down the chain of command. Be careful. May the stars guide you. Have you created some havoc down there? Good luck, friend. Jaddy kicks open one of the crates and picks up a curved dagger within. She immediately winces in pain. Cursed. This metal is cursed. It bites. When the dagger falls to the ground, it shatters as if made of brittle glass. What demented workmanship is this? I've never fought any foe like this before. Southwest of here lies the Shrine of Goldrin, a memorial erected in honour of the ancient wolf spirit and his contribution during the War of the Ancients. Our new Worgen allies have been drawn to the memory of the wolf god, Go Figure, and we're in the process of cleaning up the shrine. I haven't heard anything from my contact, Ian Durin, in days. Can you fly down there and find him? I've got a bad feeling that Goldrin's shrine is in trouble. Farewell. We can go see some family, potentially. Another war gun down there. Thank you. I worry that our actions here may be too little too late, but nature always has a way of rebuilding itself that never ceases to amaze. May the eternal sun shine upon thee. Alrighty, guy down here. Well, one bunch more quests popping up. I don't know if those were there before. If they were, I completely miss them. How are you? You're here to rescue me, priest? Thank you. No, no, don't worry about the cage for now. My life isn't, isn't important. We've got to save the shrine first. Safe travels. The beasts you see here, they're no longer my brothers from Gilneas. They've been corrupted by some kind of madness and they've taken over the shrine. They come when they came when the Twilight's Hammer arrived in Hyjal and they'll howl the name of some blasphemous mockery of our beloved Goldrin. Forgive, forget about me, destroy these vandals before they continue to defile the shrine. As you destroy them, look for the incense they carry and bring me some samples. See you later.
target something first. I don't have a target. We've got three levels today. That seems kind of ridiculous, but we're also about to I run out of rested. So I guess that will change things soon. We'll slow down a bit. statue. Oops, no, don't see me. You need something? Morgan, like myself, were drawn to the story of Goldrin, his strength and wisdom, but these vandals, they worship a different aspect of the wolf god entirely. See you around. Ian examina ex examinates, examines the incense. As I suspected, these reagents bear the marks of the Twilight's hammer, and here the name Lycanthroth? I believe these are used in a summoning ritual. Have a good one. I think I understand what's happening here. The Twilight's Hammer fears that the Ancients may someday rise up to oppose them. They'll do anything to stop the return of Goldrin. This Lycanthroth is a twisted version of our beloved wolf god summoned by the Twilight Hammer to replace him. It is but a shadow of Goldrin's power. Kill this beast so that the true Ancient can return. Take this incense and burn it in the moor of Lycanthroth east of here. Slay that beast and free Goldrin. Safe travel. Alright, do we have anything new? We do, a new waste. It looks like that's it. Can I have an offhand when I have a wand? I can. Amazing. Alrighty. Your bravery is an inspiration to others, priest. Tell me your name. You were brave to face down Lycanthroth. Like myself, he was a primal force of nature, but his origins were from a darker place. Those who birthed that beast reached deep into the blackness, channeling powers never intended for this world. Come, climb onto my back and let us show these beasts the true face of ferocity. Heck yeah. These cutscenes I find kind of funny, like I mentioned in the last part, compared to Dragonflight and just how well done those cutscenes are. This is, these are obviously are so old, like I can't even remember when Cataclysm came out. It was like the fourth expansion or something, so it makes sense they're not as good, <laughs> but they're very funny to watch. Now, especially doing my Warlock side by side with this, who's doing, you know, like, um, Zara Elite Kevin, which is a very new, even, portion of Dragonflight. <laughs> yes, I am Goldrin. Your persistence in the face of fear has unbound me from Twilight's grasp. My shrine has been purified and my worshippers have returned to their rightful place at my right paw. Return to Ian and continue your work here in Hyjal. I will need of you again soon. Oh, everyone's free. Hey there. 
See you around. It was astounding. Goldrin himself appeared to free us, his white fur bright like the summer moon. Our cages collapsed and the vandals melted like wax under the kiss of his claws. He was beautiful. Beautiful. See you later. Have a good one. Did we get anything from that? We did. We got gloves. Oh, which are way better than what we have. Um, even though we we have a whole bunch of quests to pick up here, but I think I'm going to wait to pick them up for the next part so we can properly get into whatever is coming next. So this is where we're going to finish up for today. If you didn't figure that out from my rambling. <laughs> If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate your support. Would love if you could give this video a thumbs up. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next part of our journey. I'll see you all very soon. Bye, guys.